tarot and boundaries. It is very important to talk about boundaries, especially for those who work in a field that is highly based on empathy. See, there is a thin line between being stepped over and being empathic. I hope this video will be helpful for those who are or will be starting their journey as a tarot reader. I will approach this topic from a place of my work. Firstly, at the beginning of my journey as an intuitive, I have felt the need to accommodate many people's wishes. Do not get me wrong, I believe a starting tarot reader should provide free services until they feel they are ready to charge for their craft. Practice is very important in any field. I have taken my time to practice and develop my skills before setting up my business. But for any tarot reader out there, sooner or later, there comes a time when you find your emails or inbox filled with requests from strangers who sometimes even do not take a second to say hello to you. That is when you ask yourself, is this fair to me? Is this something I'm willing to accept? How do I want to move forward? Sometimes you would even receive messages that try making you feel like you are a bad guy. For example, someone who states that they have lost themselves or the other and their life will come to an end if you do not help them. I call this emotional manipulation, where before I would have felt immense guilt for even considering not responding to such message. I still provide free services till this day, but I am led by my intuition. It tells me who needs extra care. At the end of the day, it is sweeter to give than to receive. Secondly, you find yourself growing as a person. This field naturally requires you to change and evolve. Sometimes your consciousness doesn't catch up to internal changes within you. If you are a practitioner, I ask you to look back at the first video or session you have done and the last one. What do you notice? This job requires an open mind as it provides answers and clarity for those in need, but this field can also be very judgmental. There are two sides to everything. A lot of times I see people expecting tarot readers to act like nuns, to turn the other cheek. That is simply not me, and that is where I draw another line. I used to do this myself, just ignore and move on with my day, but then I have thought to myself, I do not allow anyone to act this way in my private life, so why do I allow this at work? Once I have set this boundary, I have noticed that some were not happy about it, and it's just normal. It is convenient for people when you are easy, when you go with the flow, when you are a follower, when you don't reach for a steering wheel because then they are the ones navigating the course. When you stand up and say, I do not accept this, this makes me feel uncomfortable. Please do not do this. You may be seen as harsh or rude, but you are not here to be a sponge of others' frustrations. It is okay to vent, but vent respectfully. Thirdly, there comes a time when you are in state of peace with your boundaries and ethics. You are not afraid to express your needs to show people how to respect you by your actions. I call this phase a transitional phase. You may notice that you have lost some clients or followers and it is okay. You talk differently, your energy changes and it forces changes to happen in your external world, inviting similar energy. Let me give you an example, something that my past version of self would probably have found rude. For over two years now, like I'm sure many others, I keep getting messages about scammers on Instagram pretending to be me. At first, I would go through messages trying to thank everyone for letting me know, posting warnings, etc. But at the back of my mind, I was thinking, this is very tiring. Is this part of my job? Am I the one who's supposed to protect everyone from scammers? If you are naive, you will get scammed by some fake insurance company, won't you? Now, this is important to notice, because of that inner conversation I had with myself, I have started feeling guilty by thinking that way. So I continued doing the same thing, posting warnings and doing messages. Fast forward some time passes, another scammer wave kicks in. 
so I post a story asking to just block them and move on for the sake of everyone's time. By this point, scammers are all over spiritual community anyway and everyone knows about it. My inbox continues to be filled with scammer alerts, so I turn on do not disturb mode. That was a moment when I felt really uncomfortable, so I stopped to ask my body what is going on. I get an answer. You are holding back from clearly stating what you need right now, expressing yourself. So this is a story I post that I would have never posted before. My older version of self would have been creeped out by this. It says, please do not send me any more messages about the fake accounts, thankful emoji. It is up to you what you do with it. I would like my DMs to be filled with interesting interactions instead of scammer accounts, meditation emoji. I am sure this might have been a rude message in someone's eyes, perhaps even ungrateful. But in reality, I have been asking for thoughtfulness. I have been at this phase for some time and I cannot be more grateful for everyone who has tested me. To conclude, listen to your body, it has all the answers. If you feel pushed, uncomfortable or unseen, express yourself. Swallowing your feelings creates a lot of mess in the long run. May the short video be a reminder for you to be clear with your words the next time your boundaries are tested. Sooner or later, you will notice how rarely experiences like that enter your life at all. If you know anyone who needs to hear this, feel free to share. And until next time, my tribe.